right, so I ran across this Honda Harmony, what is it, the HRM 215. And when I first got it, it the, the cover was off here and, uh, you know, the pull rope was all messed up. Uh, so I couldn't even try to start it. But, you know, so I was anticipating, you know, replacing that for sure. You can see I've already done that. Um, down looking into the carburetor from the from the cleaner side, it looked like it was pretty messed up, you know. So I, I knew I was going to have to replace the pull start, clean out the carburetor, and once I got it started, then I found out that the rear wheel drive wasn't uh, working either. So, so it needed a little work. These are great mowers. Uh, this one did need a little work. It's been well used. Tires are almost bald. Um, but everything looked okay, so I'll just jump into the video um, after I've already taken everything apart, and we'll start from there. This is a Honda HRM215, and looks like it's been well used. There's a, that's about the only crack I see on this, these are the, the, the plastic mowing decks. I've had one before where apparently somebody stacked some stuff on top of it and, and it had cracked at this little stress points. You know, like here, here, um, up here in the corners. And they're usually pretty sturdy, but I'll bet somebody they had moved or something and they stacked everything on top of it. But, uh, and the weight of it just kind of crunched it down. But it looks like this one is the only crack on this. And,. So I guess if you're bumping into trees or <laughs> or something, um, but it's not bad. Uh, the wheels look pretty worn. This one's okay. This one looks pretty worn, and the two rear ones are pretty worn. Um, but when I first got this one in, um, it needed. You can see the little pull mechanism. Uh, hanging there uh, So here's the old one and The spring had broke everything else and you know, I was going to tear this thing apart and just replace the spring But decided well, I'm just going to get the whole assembly and I'm going to use this stuff and the pull cord itself on a on another mower anyway um, and what else did I find when I was cleaning this up it was definitely dirty I cleaned it all up and you know these big cavities that are back here on these I found a huge rat's nest down there so I cleaned all that stuff up there's the remnants of the rat's nest that was in that cavity and hosed it down and there's the gas tank. So, and I couldn't really do anything until I until I got the pull rope in. And when I got it in, I put it all together, and it wasn't getting spark, right? Uh, and I tried spraying, you know, carb cleaner directly into the carburetor, and then I checked for spark, and there was no spark. When I took everything apart. This is what I found. You have the lever that you pull forward. And before there was a lot of slack in this. Right now it's just as soon as you start moving it, you can see the spring down here with the tension. But before this was really loose and when I would compress the spring, right now you can see the, the switch here and the little lever before when I was pulling it in it would stop about about right there where it wasn't even moving the switch so I tightened up the linkage up here you can see where this is adjustable uh, so I moved the nut and the lock nut and moved the lock nuts up this way you know, essentially uh, putting tension on the on the cable. And 
now it moves a little bit and it was enough for it to uh, to get some spark um, so I put carb cleaner in it and it did turn over which is good but you can see all the remnants there when I opened up the carburetor you can see I already took it off and all that junk was in the carburetor so right now it is in the ultrasonic cleaner doing its thing and once the carburetor is clean I think I can put it all together and I would cleaned all the ribs and everything on the um, on the head there this thing was just all caked up but that's what I found when it was no spark you know at first I was thinking ah, I wonder if the magneto's bad and all that stuff but the first thing I always check is your stop switch there on the other Hondas um, the switch is here and it and it's a plunger on this one it's a lever switch but that was it. Luckily, these are uh, adjustable. And I'll continue once I get the carburetor out of the ultrasonic cleaner and we'll put it all back together. Alright, so the carburetor is looking mucho better. Remember, that's, that's what came out of it. It was looking pretty bad, but uh, but it cleaned up nicely. The outside's still kind of tarnished, or oxidized, or whatever, but the inside is looking good. So I will piece this back together, put it all back on, and we'll see how it runs. All right, I got it. Got it all put together. And I'll see how it cranks. I check the oil so I know there's oil in it. I want to get my tripod out here so I can have both hands free. Sorry, I'm trying to make this a real short video because I've just got a crap load to do. A bunch over there, a bunch over there. I mean, there's just crap everywhere. So I'm kind of in a hurry to get these going. Let's see what happens here. Chokes on. I should have primed the carburetor. It always helps to prime it a bit, especially after it's been bone dry like that. is not going to go as fast as I'd hoped. I know I put fresh gas in it and I just cleaned the carburetor so what I'm going to do I need to check these fuel lines from here uh, check the check this on off valve and make sure there's gas getting to the carburetor so let's do that. Okay, so I already got the gas tank off. Let's, let's lift this off and see if it bleeds gas. Uh-huh. Oh, there we go. Gas getting down there. Uh, 
Let's get in here. Let's see. do disconnect this hose we reconnect this see if we've got gas flowing through It's just barely trickling. If you can see that. It's just a drip drip. Okay, so I'll take the uh, the shutoff valve off and uh, make sure this hose is clear too. So tank off. And some Phillips head. Take that off and the hose with it. Tight squeeze. Let's see if I have a little stubby Phillips head. All right. Here's a tight squeeze in here. There it is. Go ahead and take this hose off. Then I can check each individually. See, see if it's this hose that is clogged, or is it the valve? The hose is clear, so it's got to be the valve here. That's off. That's on. I should be able to blow through this. I can blow through it, but it's kind of tough. So I don't have a replacement ready, readily available. 
Um, I am going to. I know it shuts off fine, but it's barely trickling through. I'm going to poke around and see if see if I can clean it up in there. Maybe maybe there's something clogging it up. Because usually I've had these gone bad where you you shut it off and it and it leaks, right? But in this case, shutting it off is works fine. It just seems to be clogged when I try to open it up. Alright, so that might have helped a little bit. Alright. Alright, it's just the only thing to do. I'm just going to hook all the gas lines back together. See how see how this does. Okay, right now it's closed. a little better. Now it's a little stream instead of uh, you can see that. Before is just a little drip. Okay, I'll cross my fingers. Let's put it all back together and see if it'll it'll crank up normally. Okay, got it all back together. Fuel should be flowing. I'm still going to prime the carburetor. Let's see what she does. That should do it. I hope. Okay, there's still a few things wrong with it. Started to smoke up a little bit, but I'm just gonna see if that's just excess crap burning off of the muffler. Um, still had that squeal. You heard it when it shut down. And I was trying to engage the rear wheel drive and no go. So. We're getting there. Let's uh, let's check out the rear wheel drive. So this lever here, let me pull both of them. So it looks like it's this one here, following it down. Yep, that's what I thought. So, let's get underneath, check out the rear wheel drive, and while I'm under there, I'll check out the blades. All right, so I was trying to take this little plastic hood off. It looks like this one, uh, this one bolt going through here is stripped, but I can still rotate it out of the way. But what I'm looking at, you can see there's the pulley uh, so there's no fan belt. Here's a spring that was hanging here. I don't know where that went. I'll have to look that up, figure that out. 
but what bothers me so you can see I have the the handles there on the front clamped down um, and it is in gear should be in gear but as I turn this pulley you can see there's that axle is not rotating so I don't know if a fan belt is going to help or not this gearbox might be shot I'll have to play around with this and figure out uh, Feels like it's freewheeling. But the gearbox seems to be engaging when I'm turning the axle. Let me dig around here and I'll have to put my camera away and play around with this for a minute. So it looks like it's the cable here needs adjusting. I can feel the link up here and looks like the cable wasn't pulling back like it should and after I pulled it in with my fingers now you can see this pulley is engaging and the axle is rotating so that's good I will uh, I'll look more into this cable. Uh, hopefully I can adjust it from up there at the front, just like I did on the uh, uh, the engine control cable. Uh, make some adjustments there. So I guess I'll look online uh, about the spring and see what size of uh, belt this needs. Maybe I've got one. Slight chance, but uh, all right, so took a couple of days, but I was able to get the uh, the V-belt here for this particular mower, and we'll be slipping that on, slipping around this pulley, and then this spring looks like it latches around this big knob here. A little tensioner spring and looks like it just came off oh. okay I'm gonna have to put my camera down but you see what I'm trying to do uh, let me put this on the tripod while I try to get this done so, I would take this cover all the way off but it looks like it's stripped or uh, rusted shut here the the nut up at the top and I can't get to it so but it looks like I can get to it just by doing that right there so this spring is going to be kind of tough to uh, put into place it's a pretty heavy duty spring and you can see how much you can see the spring right there. So I'm gonna get a pair of vice grips or something that I can grab this onto and uh, see if I can hook it around that bracket. This is gonna be tough. One tight spring, but it definitely keeps the the belt tight. Now, after the cable adjustment here, it should engage. So, what I'm doing, I'm fooling with the lever 
up here where this cable is supposed to be controlling um, the lever back and forth. And right now I just pulled it back. And now you can see the, the axle starting to turn. So it's definitely now the cable. So I have it pulled all the way through. I'm going to go back, put all this back together, and then fool with the adjustment up on the handlebar. So let's get all this back together. It's not gonna, it doesn't feel like it's going to rattle around. Uh, let's run securely. Let's get the blades on. So I took the blades and sharpened them. And then uh, took a wire wheel and knocked off some of the rust and put some of that rust treatment on there. Stop some of the rust. I guess I could do the same here, huh? Ooh. stuff does dry pretty fast so that's a good thing but I did uh, sharpen them and balance them so they should cut pretty good I think that got it. I can do it by hand here just to make sure. It's on there and yes the spark plug is unplugged right now I always do that when you're fooling around with the blades underneath let's see what else under here I guess that's it guess I'll crank it up and uh, see if the drive is working and do the adjustments up at the all right, let's crank it up. Let's crank it up and see if the drive is going to work. So no drive. Let's uh Alright. What size of socket is that?
Well, I have to say, you can see what I'm looking at. So I took the wheel off. This gear is okay, but there is no there's no gear on there. Darn. So I guess I'm gonna have to uh, and I'm sure the other side's just the same. So I guess I'm gonna have to get online again. And order some parts. I'm sure the other side's just the same, but I'll take a look just to make sure. Let's check this side. Yep, same thing. No gear. Ain't that great? Was hoping to be done with this today but no go I guess I'll just have to uh, get online order a couple of gears and put them on and see how it works <laughs> okay so it's been a few days but I did get all the little parts uh, the gears the thrust washers Sir clips, all that good stuff for both sides. And they're all in there. Actually got a pretty good price on them. So, to help me along, I went and uh, printed off the diagram and then labeled each one, you know, so I don't get mixed up here. And the only thing I need to look up um, is this actual gear it has well, let's see if I can find it this one feels heavy yeah so you see the gear there and the way the notches the detents on them you got to line them up correctly uh, they can be put on backwards so I just need to double check that um, but everything else Looks like it'll go back on fairly easily. Just get them in the right order. Thrust washers, then the circlip holds the, the rear one, holds that on. Um, yeah, then there's a collar, and you've got the key and the ratchet spring, your gear. Then another collar fits over that. Um, then a circlip, I believe. Yeah, circlip. And then there's the other thrust washer and a washer. And it goes right on. You just got to make sure you put the gear on correctly. So let's get started. All right. Let's start with one of them here. clean this up a bit and uh, start putting these components on there. Okay, so there's a clip, so apparently this has a thrust washer under there. Okay, it's 
still got the, the spring in there. So I'll have some extra parts left over, but that's fine. Let's see, so it's got the washer, the circlip, the spring is in there, so it still needs the key. Uh, let's see, 19, uh, the collar. I've got all this on the table here. Everything's going to fit before I. All right. That's snapping on fine, but you got to notice um, so it will rotate one way and snap into place and it won't go backwards. So you got to make sure that you're going the correct way. And I think that's got it. Let's see, what's next? I think there's another collar. Here it is. It goes on the top of that. in between that? Nope, doesn't call for it. should do it. I've definitely got some extra parts. There she blows. All right, so I'm going to do the other side just like that. Then we'll see if it works this time. All right, so let's crank this up, and I'm going to stand in the shade here. It's freaking hot today. It's supposed to get up to 99, and it's got to be in the low to mid-90s already. But anyway, let's see if I can do this one-handed. Get the choke. All right. 
right. Well, now it is fully functional. Um, seemed kind of weak, so I'm going to double check the uh, the tension here. See if I can tighten this up a little bit more. The cable, maybe that's why it's so weak. Uh, but I've got oil all over everything. I need to clean it off. It could be a belt slipping, that new belt I put on. But anyway, I think that's done it, finally. It's actually a really nice mower. It cuts really well. That double blade system blows me away. Uh, can't tell right now, but a few days ago I cut it with this before I got the uh, self-propelled working and it cut it like carpet I mean it was just so clean um, I guess the only other thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna check the oil and probably change the oil on it and can't remember if I've already done that or not but but I guess that's it I'm a uh, I'm going to go inside where it's nice and cool. I'll check the oil and that's about it because it is stinking hot. And uh, I've got a lot of projects on my hand. I'm going to switch over and maybe I'll work on uh, on one of these pressure washers. I think this one here, I took the uh, pull rope off and it's just in pieces so i got to find the parts for that. Um, or I'll work on that tiller over there. I've got some of the parts I need. I just want to see if I can get it cranking. But uh, anyway, that's it. Thanks for subscribing and uh, stay tuned for our next project.